welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a while ago, I posted on my community tab on YouTube asking of what kind of video you guys would like to see me doing next. The doll custom makeover slash transformation definitely won. So that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. Here is the doll. She is so beautiful. I am seriously obsessed with her. My favorite part about her is her face. Like the structure of it is just so pretty. She has been one of my very favorite dolls for quite a while, but she is a bit of an older doll, so I haven't used her in a long time. And so I decided that she is gonna be the perfect one for this transformation just because I don't use her a lot, but I love her a lot, so I'm gonna have to use her more. She does have sort of a made to move body, but it's like not fully articulated you know what I mean just like a little bit she has pretty long hair but I'm not a huge fan of it so I'm actually really happy I chose her to do this transformation okay first of all I'm gonna start off by taking out her ponytail and I'm pretty sure her hair has been in this hair tie for about as long as I can remember and I can't even remember <laughs> Okay, so here's what her hair looks like. And like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of it just because you can literally like, when you feel it, it doesn't feel like doll hair. Usually doll hair is like super soft and it almost feels like real hair, but you can really tell this is fake. And if you were to put a ponytail in, it just like sticks out. I do really like her hair color though. It has like different shades and everything, but I am planning on like, cutting her hair. I don't plan on changing the color due to all the struggles I've had in the past. So I think I'm gonna cut it to about here, maybe a little bit longer just in case I cut off too much, just because like, what's the point of having this much hair in not being able to do much with it just because it's not very good quality. All right, you guys, so I just gave her a haircut and I am so happy I did this. It really gave her a new look and she looks totally different. I love the way it turned out. But now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just curl her hair to make it curly. So I'm gonna tie them up into tiny little braids. Thankfully this time I came prepared with some real little hair ties that have a nice stretch. All right, so I just finished braiding her hair. I know these don't look like the best braids, but they definitely were really hard to do just because her hair is really short and I tried to make them really tiny. But now I need to have them sit for a while so the hair can get curly, which will probably take a while. Okay, so this is now the next day. I'm not going to take out the braids though because I still want them to stay in for a little bit, but I am going to start working on her face. 
So starting off with her eyes, I personally really like the brown. It really suits her. I was trying to see if blue or green was going to work, but it definitely doesn't go with her. So I decided that instead of just leaving it brown, I would change it to a hazel brown, which I think would look really, really pretty. And for the lips, I'm going to keep them the way they are because... Obviously, I can ruin them or something, so I think it's best to leave them the way they are because I also really like them. And also change up the eyebrows a little bit. So for her eyes, the colors that I'm going to be using to make them hazel brown are... There's a green, specifically called Christmas green. It's one of my favorite greens, as you can probably tell by all my transformations. I literally use it all the time. And this nutmeg brown... It also required gold, but I don't have any gold paint, so I'm using this Sunny Day Yellow. This is the darkest one I could find, and this is the closest I can get with gold. Hopefully, it's going to work. And now, we can start doing her eyes. let this dry and then wait to add some you know final touches to the eye Okay, so as you can see, her eyebrows are pretty dark, but her hair is darker. So what I'm going to do is use this brown and then add a little bit of black to kind of darken it up a little bit and then see what I'm going to need to do. And now just begin. I'm honestly really nervous just because her eyebrows are super thin and it's kind of easy to mess everything up.
Okay guys, I finally finished her eyebrows, but actually a little story time. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed in the previous clips, like her hair was a little bit out of her braids, like undone. I did not notice that until I was just like about to get it out. Um, and I literally don't know how that happened. I think it was my cat's job because I have five cats because all I found was literally ripped hair ties lying all over the place. So that's probably what happened. So I quickly put them back in and hopefully they're gonna be curly because if they're not, I'm gonna be really sad because this took a lot of days to have them be like this and yeah. But anyway, there were a few smudges of paint on her face. So I just got a Q-tip and simply cleaned it off. I do wanna add some beauty marks onto her face to add some realistic features, which I am going to do right now. I just feel like beauty marks add so much. Okay, now I need to top everything off with some Mod Podge. And so I just noticed that the Mod Podge I was gonna use is actually matte and it won't be shiny. So I'm going to need to use this gloss one because I want her eyes to shine. Okay, so she looks kind of creepy right now, but we just need to let the Mod Podge dry, which will take about 15 minutes. Okay, you guys, now the Mod Podge has dried and I love the shine it gives to the eyes. It just adds so much. Um, the eyebrows do look a little bit bad, but that's the best I could do. I tried a lot of times and they just didn't work. So this is the best that worked. And also I'm happy I didn't change her lips because I'm happy the way they are. And also I want to change her onto a made to move body. And I'm going to do that right now just so I don't have to like ruin her hair. All right, now that she has a made to move body, I think that it's appropriate to now give her her new outfit. So for her bottoms, I'm thinking these cute denim shorts. I love them a lot. And for the top, I'm just using this oversized dark navy t-shirt. I think that it really gives me like the navy vibe or whatever. And then I don't know if I'm gonna put this on, but I'm thinking this navy jacket as well. Only if it fits on top of the shirt, cause it might not, but hopefully it will. And if it won't, it's totally fine. And also these dark, like they're almost like boots. I really like that this outfit really gives me like the 90s vibe. So let's put it on the doll. Okay, so now she's wearing her outfit. Okay, so I really, really love her outfit. It really gives me the 90s vibes. It's all like super navy, blue, denim, and everything. Now I'm gonna take out her braids. Wow, I love her hair. And like I said, just because some of her braids got undone, it kind of got straight here, but it was curly here. And I don't know why it's just straight, but I kind of like the front being super poofy and the back being a little bit more straight. It's so cute. I love it. Also kind of add like some little volume up here. It looks so pretty. It's like 90s vibes full on. Okie dokie, you guys. So this is the end of the transformation. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, let me know down in the comments what you think about this transformation. I hope you really liked it because I worked so hard on it. It was so hard, but I got through it and I just hope you guys enjoyed it. Here is the quick before and after. Pretty big difference. And for today's video, the shoutouts go out to Creative Dolls and Nikki's Doll World. If you'd like a chance of receiving a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and comment down below hashtag BAW, and you'll get a chance of receiving a shout out. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Barbie's Awesome World. And with all this being said, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye!